Martin. Hey. Hello YouTube, this is Dutch Bishkov Nice and today I have the more robust. I'm not gonna make a usual video this time, I'm gonna do a destruction test. Whoa. To see how sturdy or how robust the more robust actually is. Okay. And feel this handle geometry, please. I think it has a great handle geometry, Whoa. Ex especially for this price. It uh, is a little bit shorter than the, the Mora Companion and it's a little bit thicker, so it's much more sturdy. And in this video we're gonna see uh, how far we can push uh, the Mora Robust. Let's get to it people! Alright people, so of course we already know that the Mora is an excellent carving knife with its scantly edge. It has a lot of power. So for wood biting and feather sticking, this knife is of course excellent, but uh, that's not what this video is about. I'm gonna destroy this, or at least I'm gonna, going to try and destroy this. All right, people, so let's start with a tip test that I uh, already did once, but usually still don't do. kind of actually hurts using this uh, handle on tip that this isn't doing anything with the tip so let's use a little bit more force all right let's be clear this Mormon knife has a thick and sharp point there is no bending at all. By the way, this is the carbon version. Don't know if that may, will make any difference with the 12C27. But a uh, sturdy tip. Oh no, the nail bend. What should we do now? Let's get it out. I couldn't pull it out, so I have to cut it through. <laughs> so let's do this. I, used to say, I do have a nasty um, edge problem right now. Martin, what's up, Mickey? Um, I can't get this uh, th get this thing to open anymore. Can you make it? Uh, can you open it up for me, please? Yeah, of course. I will make sure you you can put water in this again. Okay, thanks, man. I'll I'll come back and I'll see what you do. Yo man! I made, new, I made a new opening Thank for you! Thank you man! See you later! <laughs> bye hey, bye! No problem mate! I love this knife! Oh my, oh you did it again! Yeah of course! Wait, but it looks fantastic! <laughs> yeah! See you later man! <laughs> See you later! Bye! Alright, so this should be uh, an interesting test! Hey. Don't know how we're ever gonna take this thing out again! Alright, let me try! Balancing on the knife. Don't try that at home, people. This knife is perfectly capable of holding my weight, and it isn't even full tank, people. And this guy is fat. <laughs> Let's get it out. Hmm. That went easy. 
the knife isn't bent a bit, people. Makes me feel bad about my expensive knives. <laughs> All right, people, so um, when you're working with stones, sometimes you need to cut the stone in two to make it a perfect fit. And the Mora, Robust, is the perfect tool for that. Look. Alright, so another tip test on stone. Look at that, people. The tip is still sharp. <laughs> that is crazy. It didn't even really blunt the tip. Damn, Moa, you're scary. Mickey, would you come and look at this? Feel this okay. point. This is incredible. I just batoned stones in two with the point. It has. It still has a sharp point. Wow, that's no, that's really amazing. <laughs> that's Holy that's even crazy. I mean, of course, this <laughs> this is more than just edge problems that you can see uh, over yeah, the edge. Yeah, of course, but, but but the point is still it's still sharp. No, it st really is still sharp. That's crazy. Okay, but that's pretty. That's pretty brutal. I still gonna um, see if you can get it in the, into perfect shape. Yeah, I'm gonna baton a little bit with this knife, uh, some thick or some knotty pieces, some yeah. knotty pieces, and that uh, puts a lot of bending pressure on the on the blade. So if it doesn't break, uh, I'm gonna get it back into shape. Okay. And we're gonna leave it at that. See, you can see if you can repair the knife. Okay. So if this uh, if it survives this, I'm very very. Um, I'm I'm just not gonna abuse it further. This is gonna be a treasure knife or whatever. It has proven itself if it survives. Oh my god. Let's start with this small one with this nasty knot. Of course, no problem. Um, this one with larger knot. I'm gonna split the knot in two. Try. Does rip my hand. Oh. This Mora is indestructible. It's pretty uh, robust. It really, really is robust. We did get a little bit of opening where the blade, blade enters the handle. There still isn't any movement in this ha in this handle or in this blade. Okay, guys. If you've seen our amazing kitchen knife destruction test, we did one thing, and that was. Uh, hammer the knife with, yeah. uh, with a very big hammer. There was this amazing muscled guy who came with a hammer and, uh, <laughs> and tested the knife out to its limits. Yeah. So let's uh, let's call that guy again. Hey, this is muscled hammer guy. All right, you need me to test the knife? I'm coming right away. Mora robust, it really is robust. So I'm gonna give, I'm gonna get this back into shape, give you a final conclusion, and then this knife deserves to be in my drawer. Oh. oh Alrighty. How was the knife, my friend? Well, you're quick. <laughs> How well, was it? Here it is. I, uh, I abuse it really hard. Yeah. Look, you can see that it's really abused. Oh my god. Oh my god, you completely uh, restorated it. Yeah. Uh, and, it's, so and it's sharp again. It's razor sharp again. Let me guys show you. All right, people. The knife 
piece of paper. You saw what we did. Holy shit. Oh my god. The thing is, I used uh, a Boca Abolito, which is uh, 100 plus euros. I, th I believe even 150 plus euros, yeah? Yeah. And I was only batoning with it. And then uh, the handle was kind of breaking or failing on me, you know? And the, the little pins that fell yeah. out. And you were actually standing on this knife. You were cutting through stone. And this knife from 13 dollars or 13 euros. Yeah. 13 euros! 13. It's really, really amazing. The only thing that uh, started to fill a bit, a tiny yeah, bit, yeah. was the handle when we were, we were batoning really, really hard. And yeah. this isn't even a full tone blade. This knife, the Mora Robust, which is really, really robust, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, uh, is made for craftsmen. So, um, so if you're a carpenter or something like that, or you're doing construction work and you have this knife, um, well, whatever crazy reason you might need to use this knife, one of those reasons that I used it for, yeah. uh, I would never recommend it. But uh, this knife... It is possible. Yeah, this knife can handle it. So if you're a carpenter, construction worker, whatever, uh, this is a very, very good knife. Yeah. And of course, I would never recommend regrinding a knife on a belt grinder because it's kind of hard. Uh, it can ruin the heat treatment, but uh, we had s chips that were so deep that um, it was impossible to, uh, yeah. or it was possible, it would have been taken hours yeah. to uh, restore. And we also have work to do, people. Yeah, we, we also, also have, have a work. life. Yeah. Besides, don't get angry. <laughs> and this handle wasn't the most comfy when batoning, but uh, <laughs> to say the least. But, but, uh, but it was 13 euros. I 13 mean, euros. How, how can you complain about a knife which, which has I done can't. what it's done, which is 13 euros, people? And even the handle is. It is in perfect shape. We hammered it. Yeah. I uh, used the back to uh, hammer some nails. This knife is it extremely really has good value. I was oh actually planning to kill it. <laughs> and, <laughs> to break it. Yeah. But and of course I was not going to uh, to clamp this between something and just pry pry it until it breaks uh, because I w wanted to see if this knife can survive and every knife can under, break at a certain the point. Under the most extreme uh, yeah. extreme conditions. And I think we've gone beyond extreme that you would go with a knife oh, of course obviously, obviously so conclusion this Moro knife has can it break it no. can't break <laughs> and this knife deserves to um yeah to rest in my drawer for the rest <laughs> of his life and maybe i'll even use it again uh like my regular mora so people i hope you like this video uh please comment what you think about these destruction tests we might do some more yeah uh of course not on a uh, beautiful bark river from 300 euros but but some knives just need to be tested like this yeah which doesn't hurt my wallet so much yeah exactly my purse. so uh, i hope you like this video please comment what you uh, think about it and um what knife you would uh <laughs> Please like, subscribe and stay tuned for more people. Dutch Bushcraft Knives, signing out.